Shen English Communication in English. Hi everyone, you are watching Seven Questions with Andy. Today we are having Andy Xiu Zhang, Professor Hu Chengwei from Speech Communication, Kou Chuan Xi, for the Seven Questions. Andy, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. So the first question is, what's your superpower? Uh, unfortunately, I, I don't have superpower, but I like to uh, share everyone uh, share with you a, mm -hmm. a, a story of Socrates. You know, Socrates is the smartest person in ancient Greek. Mm -hmm. Why? Because so Socrates, she, he is the man who know nothing, and he know he know nothing. But uh, everyone we think we know many things, mm -hmm. and we think we are good enough, so we don't, then we, we will forget to seek for the knowledge, to seek for the truth. So if we, we know we have no superpower, and then I know I have to learn something. So I think maybe it's my, uh, maybe you can say it's my superpower, because I know I know nothing, or I know very little, so that made me to want to learn more. Yeah, that's, that's meaningful. It. Thank you. And next one, the second question is, who do you admire most and why? Oh, I, I think I admire um, uh, in ancient Rome, mm -hmm. a man called Caesar. Oh, and Caesar is a great philosophy and also a politician mm -hmm. and also a very, uh, with very uh, good uh, ability to speak, very eloquent. So, because you know, I, I right now I'm in speech communication, Department of Speech Communication. So for us, we have to learn more about uh, his, uh, his speech and know more about his idea, how he uh, emphasized the importance of the speech. Mm. So I admire Caesar. Okay, the third question is, if you won the lottery, what's the first thing you would buy? Mm. If I'm so lucky, I would like to buy a, a, a bigger house or a, 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 in an apartment because right now uh, my house, we, we don't have elevator. Mm -hmm. So I'm worried because the fifth floor. So I worry if one day I, I get old or get sick, I cannot come to, to, my, to, my, uh, to my home. So I, I would like to buy a house. Okay. Yeah. The fourth question is, what's the craziest things on your bucket list? I like the question, mm -hmm. but in fact, uh, I don't have bucket list, <laughs> so I don't, I don't have some crazy thing. Uh, I'm, maybe I'm a, a more conservative person, but I, I say I love your question, so it will, it will make me think. So, mm -hmm. so far, no. I, I, I don't know, but uh, thank you for you asking me. I will to think about this question, okay? When I, when I search this question, I also think about it, but I have no idea. You have no idea, <laughs> yeah. yeah. The fifth True. question is, mm. if you could switch lives with, um, with anyone for a day, who would it be? Wow, good question. Uh, I would like to switch life with my wife. Your wife? Yeah, because I'm curious, because uh, in her point of view, in her perspective, what would she look at my life or look at her life? And I, I would like to know more about uh, her job and uh, how he deal with others. I think that, that might be interesting. And how to deal with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. And the next question is, what's the best, best piece of advice you ever received? Uh, yes, uh, I, I, I like her saying, uh, it said that uh, uh, I don't know whether the life have n had meaning or not. Mm. If not, we can create the meaning. Mm. I, li I like this, this saying because uh, when, when I, I were young, I always want to know whether we can find the object meaning of life. Mm. And uh, sometimes, because right now we're in the postmodern, every, we think, or oh, come on, there's no guard and no standard and everything goes. I, and I, I feel worried or I, I, I don't feel happy. So then I think if not, we can create the meaning of life. So it give me uh, meaning again. So I think I can do something. I can invest my life and I can create something for myself. 
Yeah. I like your answer because recently I also think about what's the meaning of my life, like what do I, what I want to do in the future. Yeah, you can create for yourself. Mm, thank you. And the last question is: If you had to choose a different career instead of teaching, what would you do? Oh, uh, I like teaching, <laughs> <laughs> but but if I cannot, I maybe I really hope to be a writer. Right. Uh, if I cannot say, and then. I can write, mm -hmm. and I maybe I, I hope to live in different places mm -hmm. and uh, uh, to uh, to observe people's life, to observe the beautiful scenery, to observe uh, other culture. So I think to be a writer may be very for me very idealist. Mm -hmm. Maybe in the retirement life. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but maybe be a writer, then be a lecturer. That will be wonderful. Mm -hmm. You know, you can share with others, and then you can meet many different people. Yeah, I like that. Okay, thank you. And that is today's seven questions with Andy. So if you like him, please like and subscribe to this channel. And if you don't, still like and subscribe because he is Xiao Jia. <laughs> okay, thank you both. Okay, say bye. 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 Language is power when you use it. English and applied communication, Sijing University.